this connection between the jhanas and enlightenment or the uh, cessation of the outflows is uh, can be seen from the description of the jhanas in the first jhana the it is said that the unskillful thoughts or unskillful intentions cease so you only have skillful intentions to my to my mind in my opinion it's like uh, when you suddenly attain the first jhana then you you think uh, oh i must remember this how the how are the different steps have to to attain this this kind of uh, skillful thinking and uh, in the second jhana the thoughts cease totally that's why the second jhana is called the state of the aryan silence and so the uh, second jhana upwards there's totally no thinking so this state of uh, nibbana is described as a total cessation of consciousness in the kevada sutta where consciousness ceases so in other words the six consciousness ceases and you could say this is synonymous with nirodha samapatti because nirodha samapatti is a cessation of perception and feeling which also means a cessation of the six consciousness so you can see that uh, the aim actually is to make this uh, six consciousness cease uh, so these uh, jhanas are the different uh, levels or different stages to the total cessation of consciousness so it is impossible to attain cessation of, of uh, perception and feeling or cessation of the six consciousness without going through these uh, four levels of jhana that is why in the suttas the jhanas are always uh, stressed by the buddha so there's no way that uh, you could uh, attain uh, nibbana with uh, only vipassana.